Hi, I'm Barbara Bruni. Welcome back to Pilates Core Training. Today I'm going to use the familiar Pilates ring. You may have seen this in the stores, you may own one. So now's your chance to use it. If you don't have a ring, this is going to be an advanced class. So uh, if you've been watching the show, you can modify the exercises with a towel, perhaps fold it up, or um, just do the exercises modifying them without the ring. The ring adds resistance. It can add flexibility, uh, increasing your stretch. So uh, we'll use it um, throughout the entire class today. So as always, we're going to start with our breathing, a little bit of warm up, you know the drill, and then we're going to move right into the hundred. So let's just hold the ring, place it in front of your Chin sitting up nice and tall. As you exhale, you're going to squeeze the ring and round your lower back. And as you inhale, restack your spine and pull the ring. Exhale, draw your navel to your spine, funnel your ribs, squeeze the ring. And inhale and pull the ring apart, slide those shoulder blades down your back. Five more times. So as you're doing this, you're organizing your shoulder girdle as well as your entire spine. So exhale, slide your shoulder blades down the back, squeeze the ring without allowing your shoulders to roll forward. Inhale, get that sense of abduction across the tops of the shoulders, spine as tall as possible, and four more. Exhale, draw the navel to the spine, and inhale and lengthen. So remember, when you're flexing the spine, it's not a collapse, it's still a very long spine trying to gain flexibility or flexion throughout the entire trunk. Last two, exhale, navel draws in. Inhale up to neutral, so you're way up on your sits bones. And last one, exhale, squeeze the ring, keeping the shoulders back and down. And inhale and sit up as tall as possible. This time we're going to roll all the way down on that exhale. Squeeze the ring, tuck the tail, and lower the lumbar spine, and then each rib and release it here. Let's extend the legs fully. Inhale, exhale and bring the ring overhead. Keep the shoulder blades on the mat, keep the rib cage on the mat. And inhale and lift. So this time, squeeze the ring and exhale, take your arms overhead without jamming the shoulders into the ears. And then bring it up and pull. Exhale, squeeze. Draw the navel to the spine, feel the shoulder blades moving down into the hip pockets, and inhale and pull without the shoulder blades coming off the mat. Three more. Exhale, keeping your back of your neck long, keeping your knees straight and your elbows straight. And last two, squeeze the ring, still staying expanded across the chest. Inhale, pull the ring, feeling that on the outside edges of your shoulders. Last one, draw the navel to the spine, elbows straight, ribs down, and inhale. Okay, let's place the ring between your ankles. Point your toes, slight turn out here, palms up. Inhale, wrap the shoulders wide. Exhale, lengthen into your flexion and extension of the legs and begin inhaling five counts. One, two, three, four, five, and exhale here, two, three, four, ten. Inhale, releasing the ring slightly. Exhale and squeeze the ring. And inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, thirty. Inhale. So here when you exhale, remember you're exhaling and squeezing from the powerhouse. And inhale, two. So the squeeze shouldn't be... Uh, the thought of coming from your ankles or knees and inhale two three four five exhale so you're squeezing your butt and your belly and inhale two and exhale here full powerhouse navel draws to the spine and inhale release and exhale squeeze lifting from just under the breastbone and inhale and exhale your neck is free shoulders sliding down your back and two more sets inhaling elbows straight knees straight and exhale here, two, three, four, 90. Last set, inhaling. And exhale. And rest. And remove the ring. And slide your legs straight out. Going back to those arms, but this time adding the roll up. Inhale and organize. Exhale, arms overhead. Inhale, lift. And exhale, roll, squeezing the ring. Inhale, release the ring. Now exhale, pull the ring as you lower down. Flex your feet, reach your heels away from you. 
Inhale, arms up. Exhale, squeeze the ring. Point your toes. Inhale, lift. Exhale and pull the ring. Inhale here. Nice C curve, elongating the low back. And exhale, flex your feet, reach your heels away from you, keeping your knees straight. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, squeeze the ring overhead. Inhale, lift. Keep squeezing the ring, nod the chin, soften the sternum, feel like you're rolling each vertebra one at a time up off the mat. Inhale here. Exhale, pull the ring as you lower down. So you get that sense of keeping the shoulders wide and stable. Inhale, point your toes, squeeze the ring. Keep the ribs down, neck long. Inhale, lift, and exhale, roll. Feel that length coming from the back of the neck. Inhale, increase the curve, shoulders still out of your ears. Inhale, flex your feet. Keep wide across the shoulders. And one more time. Point your toes, inhale. Exhale overhead, keeping the shoulders pulling down the back. Inhale, lift, and exhale, vertebra by vertebra comes off the mat. Remember here, you're in the longest possible radius with the vertebra not collapsed, inhale. And this time as you exhale, roll up to a seated position. Separate your legs to a straddle. Find your neutral spine, shoulders back and down. As you exhale, press the ring down. Inhale and release. So as you press the ring down, you're imagining here that you're up against a wall. And your goal is to stabilize with your core muscles, your body and its neutral curves. So you're up on the sits bones. And then when you press down, you're avoiding coming off the wall with your chin or your shoulders. Five more, exhale, grow tall with the spine. Inhale, release. So you're feeling the work here as you press from under the armpit all the way down your back and release. And exhale for four, shoulders wide. Release here, the tendency is to let the shoulders roll forward. So your work here is to challenge your shoulder girdles to stay back. And last one. And release it. Let's take the ring, place it just underneath your breastbone against your rib cage. Wrap your hands around the ring. Place your feet together, going into spine twist. So you want to keep the handle against the ribs, not let it come off. Inhale, exhale and twist. Inhale and release. Exhale, twist, keep the spine vertical, and release. So this ring here is allowing you to isolate this movement inside the deep rotation muscles, rather than allowing it to come just from the shoulders. Watch that flexion doesn't happen here. So the goal is to feel as though you're staying completely vertical and allowing the spinal rotation muscles to turn you around. Last three. Exhale, press the inner thighs together. Press your feet together. So there's no shifting there. Last two. And inhale. And last one. And release it. Let's go back down and we'll do the single leg stretch this time holding the ring. So rather than in your normal single leg stretch, you're guiding your leg in its parallel alignment with your hands. This time it's going to be all you. And you're going to be using some resistance to gain strength in your upper body. So right knee pulls in, left leg extends. Lift your upper body as in its hundred alignment, pelvis neutral, lifting from just underneath the breastbone. Normal lumbar curve is there. Inhale as you switch. Exhale, squeeze the ring and extend the opposite leg. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So here, I like to watch my waistband. Keeps the neck nice and long. And it lets me see if I'm hiking the hip. So you're avoiding that side flexion. 
So as the right knee comes in, the left hip hikes up and vice versa. So if that's not enough to think about, you're also paying attention to your shoulder girdle. You're not letting the shoulders roll forward and let the pecs and upper traps take all the work. You're sliding the shoulder blades down the back, keeping the collarbones reaching wide to the side. Last four, exhale last three, draw the navel to the spine, two and one, and lower down. From here, let's take a roll up and we'll transfer to a seated position. Inhale, and exhale, roll it up, squeezing the ring. Inhale here, and exhale, let's sit up nice and straight and go into a mermaid alignment. Mermaid is going into Z sitting. So let's take your right leg, bring it behind you, and your left leg and bring it to center. So your goal here is to keep your sits bone of your right hip down. And if it's not making it there, you're still working to get it to touch down, that's your intention. Let's place your ring under your left hand. So this time when we go over, we have a little bit of resistance here to press against, activating more lats and serratus and shoulder stabilizers. So inhale to prepare, exhale to go over, inhale through the stretch, really reach through that top arm, press into this armpit here so that there's no over jamming of the ear into the shoulder and take it down in five more, inhale and exhale. Inhale and reach and exhale and over, lengthening up and over. So remember every time we do an exercise where we're moving the spine when we're not stabilizing it in neutral, when we're flexing it or extending it one way or the other, we're always taking the longest possible pathway. Last two, up and over, reach through the top of your head, keep your ribs together so that there's no arching in the low back. And last one, exhale over, inhale through the stretch, still reaching away with your right sits bone and release. Let's take that to the other side. Take your left leg and bring it behind you. Right knee bends, pulls to the center. Take a moment to work that left sits bone down. Organize the ring so it's not directly to the side, it's slightly forward of your midline. Inhale here. Exhale, press into the ring. Initiate from underneath the arm. Inhale and reach. And exhale back to center. Inhale. Exhale, press both shoulder blades down. And then go up and over, reaching from your left fingertips longest possible stretch through your left sits bone and take it up five more exhale over inhale and stretch and exhale and four and reach inhale longest possible radius and release watch that you're not feeling it here you're all down here and all of the stabilizing muscles. And three more. And over. When you breathe in here, imagine getting a nice stretch, opening up the sides of the rib cage. And last two. Exhale over. Inhale through the stretch. Keep your head back. Watch as you don't let your chin protrude forward or drop down to your chest. And one more. And take it over, exhaling. Inhale here. And release it. Let's place the ring between your lower legs, flipping over for some back extension. So the hardest part is to get the ring there. So reach behind you, place the ring at the lower legs, just under the hip, the uh, ankle bone. Rest your head on your forearms because now we're into the hamstrings and glutes. Watch that we don't take stress there though. All right, so the first job 
is to keep the knees bent. Level the pelvis in its neutral place so that there's not any compression here in the low back. So your triangle is flush with the mat. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, release. Squeeze seven and release. So we're keeping the pelvis from rocking one way or the other. In order to do that, as you exhale and squeeze the ring, you're drawing the navel to the spine and just get a slight sensation of lengthening your thighs away from you as if your knees are going to touch the wall behind you. And it's five and exhale four. I think I lost count there. And exhale three, shoulders down the back. Exhale two and one. And let's go 10 fast, keeping your form. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Keep the navel in, last two, last one. And now, repeating the same exercise with your knees just lifted off the mat. Triangle still down. You'll feel your hip bones and your pubic symphysis still against the mat. That's key to not feeling it in the low back. So here we go, eight slow squeezes, exhale and release. And seven, exhale. Think about those inner thighs drawing up to the pelvic floor. And at the same time, those sits bones wrap together, some low glute squeeze, and the navel draws into the spine. So you're getting the full powerhouse. Keep those knees up. And three, and two, and one, and 10 fast. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And now little pulses towards the ceiling and press and release, press and release. Triangle stays neutral. So exhale and organize it so that you're just bringing that thigh bone back in the hip socket. 10, nine, eight, seven, shoulders relax. Exhale, four, three, two, and one. And take your legs down. All right, from this position, you're going to keep the ring against the mat. As you exhale, you're going to straighten your knees, going into full hip extension and release. Exhale, straighten your knees, reach for the wall behind you and release. Exhale, belly in, release. And at six, squeeze those glutes, five, and exhale, four, Watch the shoulders, gently pull them down the back. Three, and exhale, two, and exhale, one. And release it. <laughs> Reach behind you and grab the ring. And now take the ring and hold on to it with your hand. Still going into some extension. Hold on to the ring in front of you. Go back until you can have your arms straight in front of you and your shoulders organized. So now the ring gives you a good feedback as to going up evenly on both sides of the shoulder girdle. Position the ring so that you'll start with your elbows slightly bent, soft, so that when you come up to your extension, you have room to straighten your elbows without jamming the shoulders into your ears. Okay, feet together, Pilates V. Shoulders down, inhale, and lift. Shoulders back and down, think up and away with the breastbone, and release. Inhale, lengthen through the top of your head. Try not to squish your ring too much here, and release. And eight more, inhale. Think about your breastbone going up and away, belly pulls in, and release. So you're getting the extension through the whole spine not just in the lower back. So you don't wanna be feeling this in the low back. So when you come up, squeeze the inner thighs together, squeeze the glutes, draw the navel to the spine, and release. So watch here that it's not rounding the upper back and jamming the shoulders forward. It's going into that thoracic extension we've talked about before, and then challenging it. So you're trying to get a little more extension or back bend through the rib cage. And last two, 
Inhale, lengthen. Shoulders back and down. Open across the breastbone. Butt squeezes, inner thigh squeezes. Lower down. And inhale here. Full alignment. And last one coming up. And reach. And release it. Let's flip back over onto our backs, getting a little more flexion in the abdominals. This time we're going into double leg stretch. <laughs> There's no stretching about it. All right, let's take the ring and place it back between your lower legs. Arms are extended overhead. Here is a great exercise that if you have two rings, you can hold on to the second ring in your hands. Okay, so here we go. Let's go up to your upper body flexion, shoulder blades off the mat, bending from just under the breastbone, shoulders still organized. Reach both legs up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, lower your legs and extend your arms overhead. Keep the belly from popping up and then inhale up. Now, if when you come up that's too much in your back, feel free here to bend the knees and then up. So exhale and inhale. As your arms go overhead, watch that your shoulder blades don't go down to the mat. Otherwise, it becomes too much neck strain. It becomes a neck exercise rather than a core exercise. Squeeze the ring from the powerhouse as in 100 and up. And it's four and up. So as soon as you feel your low back come off the mat or your shoulder blades touch the mat, that's where to stop. And two more. Exhaling and up. And last one. And take it up. And release it. Let's get some side work here. Come up on your forearm and place the ring so that your bottom leg anchors it and your top leg goes on top. Lift your rib cage so you have your normal waist curves. You're not in a flexion jamming your shoulder into your ears. As you exhale, squeeze, inhale, release, and squeeze eight, and release. So every time you squeeze, get the powerhouse organized. Pull the belly in, funnel the ribs down. And it's five. Keep pulling that as if you're going to put an orange slice under your armpit, and you're going to squeeze it every time you exhale. And last three. And last two, and last one. Take your leg, place it inside the ring for some abduction. Exhale, press and release. And press, we'll keep lifting out of that arm. Five, and four, three, two, one, and 10, fast. 10, nine, breathing. Keep it together here. Stay lifted here. Five, four, three, two, one. And let's take that all to the other side. Placing your bottom leg inside. Top leg on the top. Organizing into your neutral curves and out of your shoulder and squeeze and release. Remember it's inner thighs, pelvic floor, belly and glutes. Full powerhouse here and full shoulder girdle and squeeze four and squeeze three and when we go off the air feel free to do a lot more you don't have to stop with eight and let's go for two and one place your feet through and press up here ten and nine keep it together stay lifted and squeeze the orange <laughs> and it's five Fourth, imagine throwing the collarbones over the tops of the shoulders. Two and one and ten fast to end the session. Ten, nine, and eight. Keep pressing up from here. Don't let the knee go slack. Heavy armpit. And three, two, one, and rest. Thank you for joining in today. I hope you enjoyed your magic circle exercise class. And uh, 
Thanks for joining, and I'll see you next time.